<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Today we are at Fly Ride. You guys may okay. have seen him on my channel previously. We've done lots of projects with lights and stuff, but today enough of you guys giving me crap about my two different color headlights, even though it does look pretty cool, I would say. We are completely revamping both of these headlights. We're getting all new headlights, doing new lighting, new sea lights. It's gonna be incredible. If you wanna follow more of the lighting stuff, go check out Chris's channel. It'll be linked down below. Go ahead and get started with the Subaru. Currently, this is what the headlights look like right now. If you guys remember a long time ago on my channel, me and my friend Tim in Mississippi actually opened up my stock headlights and we painted them black and did the DRL section yellow. And we also put the C-Light, which no longer works, as well as HIDs. And on this side, this is where my car got wrecked. So they put a just a basic stock headlight in and it has a little C-Light bulb, which is disgusting. But today, or these are the new style headlights that I'll be putting into the Subaru today. We're gonna do an LED C light. It's a switchback sequential C light. So it's white, and then when you hit the turn signal, it will sequentially turn amber Ooh. and wrap around. Ooh, that's gonna be awesome. So, and of course we have the black housing again, just no yellow DRL. What the LED switchback panels look like that will be going in the sea lights looks pretty awesome. Now, if you guys remember, Chris also did my tail lights. So, this is kind of what the LED switchback looks like. And then when I turn my turn signal on, this is also sequential. I'll go ahead and show you that real fast. Oh, look at that, it's pretty sick. So now not only will my taillights be sequential, my headlights will be as well. And it's gonna overall match, especially because I'm going to Subi Fest this Sunday. I need two matching headlights that look really good. Also this Sunday, uh, the Legends Media restock is happening. So if you missed out on the backpacks, the hoodies or any of the shirts or anything like that, we are restocking everything this Sunday. So 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to set your calendars, alarms, everything. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm actually gonna move this little guy over there because i got a lot of wires to solder up so this is like a little piece of marble that when i'm doing lots of wiring work i do that just so i don't melt the workstation where i'm at so these have a total of 15 wires that have to be soldered onto here so that's what these guys are so i'm gonna make all of this look like it came factory in the other light i don't know what yeah. it's at, <laughs> but it'll look good so if you are more interested in seeing the technical side of things check out chris's channel but step one for me, I gotta go ahead and take this front bumper off so we can start pulling off the two headlights. All right, bumper is off, super easy. Now we're gonna go ahead and take out the headlights. If you've never taken off the WX headlights before, it's pretty simple. A lot of bolts and clips. You have a clip right here, then bolts around the headlight. You have the bracket in the middle and then on the side as well. And then these things just pull right out. Pretty easy, so we're gonna go ahead, do that real fast, and then we'll start breaking open the new headlights, putting in the C-lights, doing all the little light bulbs and stuff, and installing them back in to see how they look. All right, headlights are out. I'll go ahead and show you what the stock ones look like compared to the new ones. So here are the two previous ones that were in the Subi. Stock headlight versus the one that we modded. And then we have the brand new one that's not even open yet. It's gonna peel off the plastic. That's a good feeling. But here's what the new headlight looks like versus this. Now I really do like the yellow, but I think I might keep it pretty clean and just leave it like that and not go with the yellow. Change up the style a little bit and see how it looks. And then maybe later on, if I want to go back to yellow, we can just open this thing back up and paint that little piece. So thankfully, Chris has this massive industrial oven and we don't have to use like a home oven. So this like really bakes the headlights so we can open it a lot easier because if you guys don't know, what's holding your headlights together is this crazy glue sticky stuff. And he actually has a dispenser for that as well. So literally everything we need, Chris has, and it's the best of the best. So he's currently baking one of the headlights right now. And then I'll show you guys when we open it up and start installing all the cool little stuff. If you're ever trying to open a lens like this and it's not coming very naturally, the worst thing you could do is just rip on it because things definitely break yeah. all the time. So not only do you have the glue, you also have a few little bolts in there that you're gonna wanna take out as well. So that needs a little bit more baking. He's gonna put it back in. And then once we open up fully, we'll show yes. Yeah, she's finally good. So up in this corner is gonna give, give me a little bit extra hassle, but that. Okay, 
That's broken. That's super <laughs> broken. <laughs> For dope that you had that. Cause <laughs> now we could say, um, we should probably take this bulb out when you're doing it, because otherwise you will snap that bulb like I just did right probably now. Probably a good idea. Yeah, so we're just transparent around here, you know? That's all the good. glue. The next step in installing these sea lights. Yeah, getting the plastic piece out of your lens. That way you can start removing the little sea light cover right here and placing that piece under there. Oh, that's gonna look so sick, dude. Looks like she's in there. Yeah, man. All right, we've got the plastic piece for the sea light back in. Now we're gonna test it and make sure everything works. Oh, Ooh, crazy. That's so sick. What? So each that's one gonna look wired, so man. cool. Everything's wired up in the headlight now as far as the sea light goes, but we have one last surprise for the headlights. We're gonna check and see if we can do some sort of demon eye on this. So that you guys saw the last time we did my headlights was on the Evo. We did like a little red demon eye on the Evo and it looked crazy. I think it looked really good to have that on the Subaru as well. Oh, it just lights up the entire projector making it whatever color that you want. So it's pretty cool. It's just like a little module right behind the projector and it turns into that. So that's what we'll have in the, oh, there it is. <laughs> that is sick. That's gonna look so good in the headlights. So this specific headlight is pretty much done besides sealing it back up. Let's go ahead and finish that one up. And then we can button up the car and see how these look stalled. It's gonna be incredible with the new sea light and the demon eyes. All right, just a couple of hours went by since the last <laughs> clip, but the car is all back together and buttoned up. Let me show you very quickly what we have done. Number one, this is a company called XK Glow. Huge shout out to them. So not only do we have demon eyes, but now we have a badass show mode for the sea lights that flashes like this. So when I go to shows, I can play this, but also if I just want to be pretty chill and not have anything, I'll show you guys what the sea lights look like just like driving around. Oh, that's so dope. It has like a little animation when you first turn it on. Awesome. So it's pretty late at night and I have a long drive home. So I'm going to go ahead and button up everything on this car, head home. And then tomorrow we're actually going to do a shoot of all the lighting and stuff like that. So I'll update you when we go do the shoot tomorrow. All right, day two, we have finally left the shop. Last night was insane, but today we have a special guest. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen this in a while. This oh, incredible. you, yeah. I know, dude. This is this the first is time sick. Danny's seen it since it was wrecked, and it's been it's been a while, brother. Yeah. If you guys all remember, me and Danny actually drove across the country in this car. It's cool to see it back too, because like I remember when it was gone, I was like, oh man, I remember driving that thing. <laughs> so many memories in this car, but that's for a, a different story. Today, I want to show you guys what the headlights look like now. So obviously, we have two matching headlights, but let's get to the cool stuff, because I know that's what you guys care about. So we'll go ahead and start out with the easy stuff first. I'll show you the C lights. There's some bright boys. Damn, so bright. And the cool thing about this is it's all LED, so it looks really good, it's really clear. Awesome. And then I'll show you guys what the headlights look along with the C lights. Dude, I love this paint. <laughs> it came out really good. The body shop did a killer yeah. job. My HIDs with the LED C lights. Woo! Damn! I love that so much. It's so crazy how much lights make a difference on a car, especially with how aggressive this front end is. We're gonna turn off the headlights and remote control, oh, baby. Shoot. Yeah, Let's brother. Go. Girls all right. Were you ready for this? Yeah. I'm gonna, I don't know what all these buttons do, but we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> this one. Oh, that turns on the demon eyes. Yeah, so we have demon eyes now. <laughs> there's there's more. Not only do we have demon eyes, but... Oh my, it's not, you got all the colors or something? I've got an app that I can change any color, any motion that I want. So right now it's set to red. Let's move it to blue. Oh my God. Now I Dude, got blue, so bro. That is so sick. Do all of them. Like okay. go through the spectrum. Right okay, we got blue. Let's do... Green. Oh, it's so sick how it goes. Uh, what else? What else? Let's do purple. Oh my god. 
It's clean too. Uh, yeah, it's it like super good. clear. Yeah. Then yellow. Um, I don't know, like teal, Dang, like literally sick. anything. So not only do we have that, that's already cool in itself, but we have themes, bro. Oh, hit them with a the theme. You wanna, you like Parks. Christmas? It's almost Christmas time, baby. You can't see it on that side, but <laughs> it's a light show out here. Oh, we, it's Halloween, baby. Oh, let's go. Already has preset themes, but you can make your own theme in any colors that you want. Dude, this is dope. Yeah, it came out so sick. All right, Whew, I'm kind of out of breath. Those are the demon eyes. Demon eyes are sick. I'm gonna set them to red when we do a little shoot after this, but let's turn off the demon eyes. You ready for this, brother? Let's see it, let's see it. This is called show mode. Okay. Oh! Oh, the actual sea Yes, light? the sea light dances. Oh my gosh. So it goes from the yellow to then the white. Uh, when I'm in shows or anything like that, it does has different modes. Demon eye and the sea light show mode. So huge thank you to Fly Ride and Chris. Chris is a electrical wiring genius to figure all of this stuff out. It took forever. It was 100% worth it. Be sure to check him out. I'll link him down below. And also thank you to XT Glow for the awesome demon eyes. Now that you guys know all of the modes and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and switch lenses and do a little handheld edit and get some photos of this because I'm sure the demon eyes and the sea lights and pictures will make it look extremely, extremely aggressive. So I'm excited to get some awesome pictures of this. Enjoy. All right, Dan, you ready? Sure. I did not realize the camera you had, especially, well, I guess is the front the same as the back? The back is so, gnarly. The back has one degree more. We have negative five in the front and negative six in the rear. What size tire is that in the back? 265, 35. So you're really like on like a 135? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have made it back to the Evo. Dan, are you ready for this? Danny has heard the Evo before. I did, like, when I first finished the kit, I two-stepped it for him, but... you have never been, been inside it. Never under load? Heard it's super slow. Yes. Oh, really slow. Yeah. yeah, don't even worry about it. I think the... Okay, I have been in TJ's GTR before. I, so, what's a GTR stop? What, did, what do like, you think... Probably G around, I don't know, 500 maybe? This is... Okay, well... But it probably weighs a ton more. Yeah, so I don't know how it compares to a GTR. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Subi! Well, Dan, what did you think of your first experience in the Evo? Uh, I had a few heart attacks, but uh, I made it back alive. So I'm actually gonna take Danny to my favorite spot to eat. You guys have seen this a million times in the video, but LTH, this is his first time ever here, so I always have to take every first time at LTH, so we're gonna go eat now. We'll see, brother. One of my favorite reasons to come here is because when you sit down, you can see the car. You got a triple take coming in here. I did. Guy in an SDI. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Here we go. 
fourth yes. one. Blood Orange is by far my favorite beer. Knowing Dustin, it's probably the only beer he's ever drank in his life. Don't no listen. Nope. Cutting it out. <laughs> you better not. Dan, did you enjoy the food? I loved it. Thumbs up. TH is always the best. All right, that's gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. What do we do today? Oh, the lights. Huge thank you to Fly Right. Huge thank you to Fly Right for the lights. They're amazing. Definitely check them out. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. What did we do today?